Hey guys, look what just showed up. The Kakuka. I think it's the K16. Yes, it is. Right here. Is There's a little label right there. It says K16. All right. So it has a 250 watt brushless motor right here. It's got dual disc brakes, 16 inch tires. I think they're 16 by 1.95, almost two inch, almost two inch. It's got a um, 7.5 amp hour uh, battery. It's internal in the tube. Um, I think they said it's got an 18 mile range. Something like that. We're going to find out, right? We're going to find out. It's got a very hard seat. I know that. This seat is uh, very difficult or very hard. And it's got a little grip back here for you to pick it up. Has some real nice fenders on it. Has a real nice light. No tail light. It has this reflector. Um, it's got dual disc brakes. Did you see there? Right there. And it's got a, a kickstand. Now, one thing that it doesn't have, it is a folding bike. So the stem will fold down here. You know, one of these deals. Where this will fold down. But it doesn't have folding pedals. So... Here's the deal, guys. When you make bikes that fold up, you have to have pedals that fold. Okay, that's part of the deal. Okay, because I think this might be the only folding bike I ever bought that didn't have folding pedals. Um, yeah, that's part of the, the deal because when you're trying to fit one of these bikes in your trunk, you want the pedals to be able to fold up also because that really cuts the footprint down on the amount of room it, uh, that you need to store the thing in there. And another thing it does is it stops the bike from wobbling so much every time you hit a stop sign in your car or whatever, or you hit a bump. Well, if you have the folding pedals, the bike will lay flat. But if you don't, then the, you know, it, it teeters on the, on the pedal. The pedal's sitting there, and so the bike is constantly wobbling back and forth whenever you're driving your car. So, you know, you don't want that. Now, it, it does not have a... Uh, uh, a retractable stem you just have to fold it down it doesn't have a where you can adjust it for a, a, a much taller rider the only thing that goes up and down is the seat so that's it's a single speed um, 250 watt brushless motor like I said it does have the nice rims the mag wheels which I do like what I'm gonna do is I actually figured out how to uh, get into the P settings on this thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down here and uh, do a little close-up on some of the components so you can see um, what they look like up close. And we're going to go over the dashboard. Let's bring it on over here and we'll show you the uh, how to get to the P settings and all that stuff. All right, so here you go. We're going to turn it on, which is this button right here. I don't know why it says three miles on the trip O'Donnell. Maybe we're testing it at the factory or something. Who knows? But anyway, so you got your speeds right here. Now, here's the deal with this. And just like all bikes, you never know what this means until you actually get out here and ride it, right? Okay, I don't know if it means five speeds or five levels of pedal assist. Okay, so you don't know that. Now, the, the last bike I just did, the one bought, it was five, it was three different speeds, and the bike before that, it was three different pedal assist modes. So we don't know if this means speeds or pedal assist, but we'll figure it out when we get out there. You hold the plus button in to get the headlight to come on. There it is right there. Now it does not have a real tail light, a rear tail light. It has the reflector there. Now I will show you real quick. The, the battery is integrated in here. Here's your charge port here. Okay, it has a real nice seal on there so it won't get wet. But there's two screws right here, one on this side and one on the other side. I'm sure if you pop that off, the, probably the controller's here and then the battery is supposed to be like right in here. But I'm going to check this later, pop these screws off and open this up to see if you can get the battery out. If you can, I'll make a video showing you that. And if I can't, then I won't. Okay, so there's the hub motor, the 250 watt hub motor. There's the brakes. There's the front brake, the caliper, there's the fender, there's the fender there, there's that hard seat, 
<laughs> okay, there's that little handle for the seat. Here's your brackets. There's your wrap. It actually has a pretty nice wrap on it with a uh, little zipper. So that's pretty cool. There's your takeoff and um, this little power button here. You have to press that in before you can start riding. Okay. Before the throttle will engage, you have to press that button in. It does not have a horn, and it didn't come with one of the little cheap ones either. So anyway, to get to the P settings, because I have it set here for the mile per hour, but uh, you hold the plus and minus button in at the same time. There it's going to go to the P settings. And to scroll through them, you hit the power button. Now, the, the second one there is the mile per hour. So you would hit the plus or minus to go to kilometer to mile per hour. Now, all these other ones, I have no idea what they mean. None whatsoever. There's like 17 of them, okay? But I have no idea what they mean. So I would have to get a... I get, oh, that 17th one looked like it was to reset the uh, odometer. So, but it's on three. It must have been from the factory because I didn't write, ridden it yet. So to turn that off, oh, you just don't mess with it for a while and it automatically shuts off. I thought you had to press the buttons in, but you don't. You just don't touch it for a while and it shuts off, kind of like some of the other ones. So yeah, there it is. It's got some real nice zoom brakes here on the front and the back. And yeah, it's a sharp looker, man. It's a sharp looker. I'm going to get myself a set of folding pedals for it. Um, I just left them on so I could show you what came with it. So, oh, one more thing. It weighs 40 pounds. Okay. So no big deal. Okay. So there you go. All right, guys.